Hey folks, welcome back to Aloft. Last time, I think that's the island, we cleared that one only to find that the weapon had lost its coating and could no longer gain us the materials that we had needed. The the unsullied, what, what are these called? The undamaged? Why? That's right, we, we can't see the description when we're in a basket. That's one of my frustrations with the game. I wish that would go away. We need this to pop up no matter where you are, somehow. Um, intact, that's the word I want. Intact Mictor Sample. So, we need more of those, but I don't want to take those with me. I, you know, I've never died. So I don't know what happens to the stuff that is on me when I go down. So, hmm. Anyway, tool. Actually, that's not it. Coding stations over... Nope, that's not it. You? Upgrade. Okay, so I need some of you to coat. I have to choose the tool. Okay, you. And coat with that. And it worked. Okay. I don't know what happens if you apply two coats. Does it last twice as long? Or do you just waste a coat? <laughs> Alright, so over here, there you are, and you are coated. Alright, we have one island left in this system. Um, and we could use a good meal. Yeah. Now, last time did I remember to put something into the oven? I think I might have done it after the episode was over. Oh, and I kind of changed this a little bit too, but maybe we'll get into that in a little bit. The oven. Oh, there's something going on here. It looks like bread because it's in use. Interesting. Okay, it does work. Oh, that's nice. I'll take you. We'll just drop another one in, and it can just sit there and smolder until it gets to the end. It just won't happen quickly, but it'll be waiting for you. Hot pumpkin pie mm -mm. we're going there you know I probably should drive there let's do that all right full speed ahead swing away yeah let's do that okay so what else is happening I haven't checked the goats or the pheasants today we still have... I did head back over and pick up that little pheasant who isn't here anymore. Um, what happened? I don't know. I put him... I made a little rug for him and put him on there. Well... And I gotta make sure we don't crash. Whoa, coming in hot. Okay. Well, that sick little pheasant from last time isn't there. I don't know what happened to him. Let's. I think our alignment's pretty good. Let's slow it down. Uh, did I go too far? Nope, all the way down. Spin over. Stop dropping. Or stop rising. Yeah, we're up a little high, but I think that'll do. Okay. I'll stop. It worked. All right. Pull away. Eat. Right there. E. And I always grab another pumpkin just for fun. And two of these. All right. We're as good as we're going to get. Jump. Uh, bad guy. Hold on. Slow down. Bad guy over there. Let's drop in over on this side. Right back in here. Okay. So I saw at least two of the red um, back thing right there. Red mushroom head. So if I were to focus on you first. As soon as you jump up, you'll already... Whoa! I just hit the space bar twice. It didn't help me at all. <laughs> okay. Run back over here. And see how many more enemies I accidentally spawned. There you are! I pulled that by accident. Give me back my sword! 
Oh, nailed me, huh? Okay. No, I don't have any uh, any skills at combo yet. <laughs> Hit the buttons hard. Make it go faster. Okay. But you, I could take out from a distance just for fun. Headshot. Yeah. Can we... We can't combo these. Okay, whoa. Four? Really? Five? Okay, that's not worth the feather loss. I need to get into the the bone. Okay, that's just too many. Wow. So these are just the stone arrows. That's probably why. Not many hit points. So, I was asked to find out if... That's not red. The grenade... The boom booms will go off with the bow and arrow. But I don't see any on this particular island to test it on. So maybe when we head to the next area, we'll be able to test that. But I think we've taken care of... No, there's one more over there. I can use it to wake him up. There you are. Oh, you made it. Nope, you fell off. <laughs> yep. Bye-bye. Okay, so you guys aren't bad guys. Let's get into a place where I'm not going to get cornered. Is there, are you the only one or was there one over here? No, I guess you're the only one. So I'll take you from here. Okay, pull back. Well, that was fun. I don't know how I did it, but it was fun. Okay, that's it. I was just starting to have fun there. Okay, so where'd that node go? Oh, that's right, I, I changed it to one of these. All right, we're clear. So I got a comment back from uh, the game designer about what it takes to find those, um, those hidden chests under the ground and first of all did I get I got 16 good um, basically you're looking for something that doesn't feel right doesn't seem natural a, a, a plant that doesn't belong with the environment um, a s circle of stones surrounding nothing a conquering a high spot only to get no reward for going there. That that kind of a thing. Something that just doesn't feel like... Something that feels like a letdown. Or something that feels like it's not the right thing that should be there. That's a bunch of carrots. That is. Let's see who's in here. We've got a goat. Okay. Well, whatever happened to my pheasant? That's really strange. So, grab all the carrots and say thank you. That is a lot of carrots in one place. Should I say that's that's strange? Let's look underneath. No, nope, that wasn't it. Okay, thought I'd try. Now, nope. okay, so we could pick you up and let's go see if the research bench gives us a cure. If it doesn't, then we may just be one more step toward an eventual cure, but it's not there yet. We'll see. So six and fly. Yeah. Space bar twice with a space between in order to make that work. All right. Into the research lab, which is first floor. Down here. Boy, it's foggy. <laughs> okay. I want this guy. Yeah. And I want more of those. So let's grab the rest right there and you there 44 of 30 so let's see what happens inspecting 30 samples and we get ooh that looks promising it looks like the right shape antidote discovered stronger weapon coating that can be made in a brewing lab provides research samples from slain enemies and deals more damage to them okay got it so it sure is dark out let's go sleep and then stare at this for a while let me scratch my head 
Okay, so we... Let's grab more of these. I've got 99 of them now. Well, 111. So we need to make more of the potions. This is for analyzing. But how do you make what we just discovered? We can add this or this. Okay, let's toss in... Oh! Both of these, maybe, to make the other one. Is that what we're saying? No. So if we put one of you in, and one of you in, what are we doing? There we go. So we need more of those. So pull all of you back. If we make you and a fruit, vegetable, and do this for a while, we make a bunch of these. Okay. So let's make oh, a dozen of those. I have a feeling we're going to need a lot of potions. Okay. Pull all of you back. And then put you in with only garlic this time. Okay. Um, so garlic must be the primary ingredient toward making this. I think garlic is antibacterial already. If I remember right, I don't know honey is. Okay, we made all of those. So with that, I guess we will go and try our experimental potion on our sheep out here and see if it worked. All right, so you, did I not pick them up? Or is it not the same thing? Wait a minute, I picked him up? Antidote must be applied on an upgrade station. Deal more damage. Corrupted monsters and gather injured samples from them. Uninjured samples from them. What am I missing here? That shape looks like that. E. I don't know what to say. It's the same icon. Sorry, little dude, but I don't know how to fix you. E, but I'm holding it. I mean, I can code another weapon with it, but I don't know what to do there. Hmm. Well, let's go rescue that one goat. And when we figure out what to do with the cure, or how to actually get the cure, the... I added a little more length to the gangplank over there. Hoping that I can actually get to things a little easier. Rotate you in. Though I can't see what I am doing. So eventually we're going to have to... There you are. We're going to have to... Uh, rebuild this helm area. So I think I'm there now. Okay, pull out. Yeah. Now I'm a little high. And when I do rebuild it, then... I'm going to make it so that I can see the gangplank real easy. Um, what do I want to do? I want to drop a little bit. I don't know how close it is. If, uh, space? Space. Or if I'm ripping the thing apart right now. Nope. Okay, let's go a little closer now. Let's pivot in. Like so. Do I need to go forward or do I need to pivot? Actually, I'm, I'm there. Okay. That's an unopened one. Hmm. I see. I didn't see him. Okay, I thought it was this one. So what have we got over here? We've got a very different looking goat. Like you're black. So let's pick you up. And it still says zero cures on my, you know, in my backpack. 
So, now that pheasant could not have just disappeared, could it? Let's try that again. All right, you stay there. Let's go get the your other little goat buddy. Actually, I have to fly over there. There we go. So you're over here. Right there. So little by little, we'll figure this all out. But for now, go on over here to the medical mat. Okay, here's our, our little animal hospital. <laughs> Let's see, this jump over. There it goes. And see if there's anything else we missed on this island. Alright, normal stuff. Nothing unusual. Okay, grab these guys. Alright, don't need any more hay, so we'll just stop right there. Alright, so let's move on to another part of the map. Where am I? I'm over there. We'll decide if we're going to finish this sector or drift off into another sector. Okay, so we are right there. We could head over to these two or we could just head, well, forward or back, I don't know. That's just it. The sails are at the back. I wish I could get a little bit closer. I want to zoom in a little bit. I want to be able to hold my right mouse button, hold it, and zoom my view in when I don't have a weapon selected. That would be cool. Um, it looks from here like the sails are at the very back of the of the little ship, of the little island. But over here, it looks like the sails are more toward the middle of the little island, depending on how you look at it. But the it's actually aiming this direction. Even though the sails are at this end of a very big island. So, if we were to reverse this and put the helm over at the other end, since it seems... It, see the sails are over there? It's displaying them there, though we're going that direction. But it's pointing as this is the front of the ship. Front of the island. So if we put the helm over here... Took these trees out. We, I haven't planted any any uh, gardens at that point, so it's still available. So when I rebuild, I could rebuild out here. It's just that it's so convenient to step right out of the house and drop into the wheel. So, and then just go right back into the house through my hobbit door. <laughs> so I'll have to think about that. If I do, it's one of those projects I'm going to do off camera because there's going to be two hours of sitting here scratching my head going, I don't know what to do. Let's, yeah, no, I don't like that. Hmm. And that doesn't record well. Um, we're at 46 frames per second. There was an experiment that I wanted to, um, to take a look at and to try out. Um, one of the things that, that Nico had answered from last episode was the huge frame drop that we saw last time down to 13 15 frames per second he said that when you're on the island then everything is active and the game is calculating every blade of grass movement and the whole works but when you're off the island then that's no longer a factor all the all the branches are still well they're still as they they pick up as i get close but as i move further away the ones in the back aren't moving anymore. I can't keep looking. It keeps reversing me. Let me spin around. Oops. Up and slow. So only that first tree... Yeah, the ones in the very back aren't moving. And so it's no longer taxing. It's only when we get close that they start to move. So when you're on the island, the island is alive. When you're off and, and floating around, then the... Uh, and the island is static and it's no longer com competing for frames. So I wondered if we would see a frame drop if I rotated the island because I've 
set everything up to suddenly come alive. <laughs> so more things in use. You are you've got 18 flax in there ready to, or uh, fiber to make rope. You've got fiber in there to make linen. You've got reeds in there to be broken down. Um, let's put some logs in here to be turned into planks. And let's put some um, wheat in here. Or did I need to do that? To... Oh, we already have pumpkins in there making... Okay. Making uh, seeds. So what else? We could be putting manure in here to make soil. But right now, nothing is operating. So we'll grab that and no manure okay um what am i willing to get rid of let's do nope not no 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 50 of you okay right now we've got no wind power so all the machines are frozen nothing's operating if i shift this guy around which means what okay pull back which means rotate away and keep going until that guy catches the wind, which we've got to go 180 degrees. I never noticed the sails shifting over with the wind like that. That's kind of cool. Now, that island's over there. Okay. So as we swing around behind, there it's starting to go. We're at... I didn't see the frames for a second before we started this. Right now we're at 18. Okay. So let's go back the other way then since I forgot to take note all right swinging around I don't know if they are operating inside if that counts toward this now apparently it didn't now that I know they're not turning inside we've only gone up one to 20 okay so that's not a thing Anyway, just a little experiment of my own. So, we need to decide where we are going then. Because we need to, apparently, coat this weapon with the new potion. And maybe go and get a third item out of here. Maybe we're looking really for whatever this is. Which I thought was what we were going after, but it's not. So, oh, coming soon. These don't exist yet. But... Antidote, fungicide antidote. Now, antidote seems like that's what we were looking for. But I want to go one more round, if there is another round. See if we can get 75. We've got right now 14. So we need to find a bunch more corrupted islands. So select tool. Uh, we'll go back to you and apply coat of this one. All right, so that one's available now. Nothing has changed here. Let's just run out and talk to Mr. Sheep one last time, just in case that made a difference. Pheasant's back. No, no, that's two goats. Okay. Um, yeah, no cure available. Uh, it's still zero slash one. Even though that sure looks like the same bottle, it really does. Let's code a second tool. So, 11 to 16, 20 to 30... 15 to 22, 20 to 30. Stone. Let's go build a bone door kip. So, what do I want here? Tools? Right there? Yeah. Let's craft you. Okay. And drop into you and put you in that spot. Now, did that work? It did work. And you are a 30 to 45. Let's coat a second one as a backup. If we're mid-battle and that coating goes away, now that I know to look for it, then I could just swap tools around. So you, we're going to apply a coat of that one. And we're going to install trinket... I... Interesting. There's no trinket to install, yet it gave me the option. So it'll let you think about it let's grab some more sleep bring the sun back 
and get on our way. Um, I keep wanting to hit that escape to get out of whatever activity I'm on. That's just my natural response from other games. So this mantle that I put in, paint in my hair had written in saying, hey, put the bone, the, the, the stone faces up on the, uh, up on there. I think they're kind of creepy. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> But, if you're going to display them anywhere, this seems to be the place. And, I don't know that these lights are actually causing the problem. I did, I mean, there's so many leaves and so many blades of grass and so many everything else on this island that, you know, ten more lights doesn't seem like it's that much more of a, of a draw for frames per second. But I did eliminate a lot of them, and then went back and put them in more strategically rather than just line the the ceilings with them so i think the lighting now is a little more even we need i need to remember to take a look at that during the night time but i'm saying all that because it just feels like maybe this would look best if we were to kind of alternate light and stone face and light and stone face kind of a thing. So let's try it that way. You and number one. Oh, we can put them on top of each other too. Two. And I finally noticed from watching somebody else play this what was with the beacons. That's something I didn't get. All those other shapes that can go with them. So there's... Oh, that's all of them. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. That's all of those guys. The beacons. He's right here. What were... What was with all of these other... Yeah. We have the five. And then we have all these shapes. And I finally noticed that they kind of all stack on top of each other. Kind of like building a, a totem. Almost. So go in with a wood... And then come back with this guy. And then maybe wings. And then your beacon kind of a thing. So that's what you can accomplish with something like that. We don't need one here. We already have a home symbol on ours. So let's not a big deal though I do wonder about something if I were to pull off the top let's see here roll through yeah the top does have a, a symbol of, of a circle so if we only had those guys can anything be seen let's grab do I have it with me or have I taken that off um yeah, I pulled that off. So put you back into the floater space. Eight. So looking at you through there, we don't have any symbol. It just says Emerald Island. Which I found out is the name of the system. This whole place is called Emerald. The Emerald System. So when you see Emerald Island, it, it uh, I thought our island was called Emerald Island. But it says that for everyone you go to. But Emerald Island does not have a symbol under it. Okay, so the beacons that don't have letters attached to them don't give you a letter. So they're just accessories for the letters. So I guess we have five beacons that we can decorate in different ways. That's what's going on. Okay, so kind of cured up that mystery. Oh, interesting, they drop. Ah, gravity affects them. Doesn't affect these, but it affects those. Okay. I get to rebuild that. Okay, let's go drive. Which way? So, our back end is facing that way. Which is our front? No. I'm confused. I'm really confused. <laughs> yeah, so it's like we're backing up. Okay, forward is backward. So, heading toward 
the sector out over here in the center ring, in the, the second ring, aiming that way, we can see one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it might be. Yeah, there's five in there. Okay, five that way. One. One, two, th well, one, two right there. Which might be these two, but they're not close enough together. I think it's like one there and one right inside the next one. And then one off to the side and one maybe one over there. Yeah, the two. Actually, there's three or four next to each other right there. I don't know what's closer. I don't know how close these are versus this cluster over here. Hmm. Let's go forward. What does that mean? Let's go toward these guys. Oh, that didn't work. Got to grab onto the wheel first. Yep. And go. So we are moving at 11 knots. Wind is not behind us. And we have no way to turn the sails to grab the wind. All kinds of angry red all over the place, except for that one. So why is that one... So the wind is not changing its direction. They're just kind of oscillating. Hmm. Alright, we'll keep going that way. But what do I do with these sails? Hmm. When I rebuild, it will make a difference, but... Until then, let's spread these out a little bit. How far down is that? Right there, kind of floating around. Let's go with the taller ones of these. Um, right there. But if I snap you, you'll just go down into the ground. Okay. There. And you did what? You, that's as far as you're going to go. Alright, that's good. For a sail, that's fine. And let's do the same thing. I do the the last one. Okay, right here. Now, you aren't going to do any good no matter what. Yeah. So that one, I may as well just make a floor. There and there. And grab this guy. And over here, we'll move. Do we move the sail over? I think we move over instead of add two. And maybe that they're just too close to each other. So grab sail. Big one. Right there. Align the sail with the island. Yeah. Still not too sure what that translates into. But let's rotate. Boy, I wish I could look up and see it. Well, I guess I can this way. So rotate you around and do something like that. So right in there, um, I want to fine-tune it. There we go. Like that. Okay. And did I destroy the other one yet? What did I do? Okay, so let's move you. Um, well, I'm not done yet. Up and over there. Okay, you're there. Let's... Hmm. Let's grab you. Put you in more like over here. Get where I can see this a little better. A little further away. Alright, so somebody right in this area. And... I like that. Take you up. Take you over. Okay. Get rid of the junk sail. Because I don't think it's as powerful. Where are you? There you are. And put you back in. There. Take you up and take you over. Alright. So... How do we compare? Still about the same speed. So you two are red. If I pull this guy out completely, is it because one's in front of the other? Are we competing? Build, you, and go away. 
Or is there something that I don't know about sailing? And certain sails are better in certain places than others, despite their size. But the red didn't go away, so that doesn't seem to be a factor. So I'm not sure what's what this all means. Don't know. It's easier when you were the one who designed it, and you, you know what you're trying to convey, but I'm trying to guess afterward, and it's not translating for me. So for some reason they're red, and that one's not. And I don't know if six and eight are good or bad. Are these their contribution toward the 13 knots? That might not be it either. Hmm. I'm not sure. We are... We didn't pass those islands, did we? Okay. Where are we? <laughs> We're going the wrong way. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Turn you around. Yeah. This is going to be a long episode. <laughs> now, does that thing turn real time? It does seem to. Well, since we've gone this far, maybe we'll go toward the uh, the two at the end there and just go into the next sector in the same ring. Yeah, I think so. Oops, don't need that. So, heading into this area right here. Okay. 17 knots. 18. 82 knots. Starting to rain. Ah, uh, okay. So, escape to get out of that. So, let's do the same thing over here. May as well. Just complete the pattern. So, you. And get rid of you. And get rid of you. Put you. Spin you around. About like so. Drop you. Oops. There. Like that. Oh, got to go up. Got to go over. And then you go... Where did I put you over there? You're kind of in the middle. I hear the windmill going crazy now. Alright, so you're about here. You're up. You're over. And... Did we move the front? You are in that... Ah, well, one and a half squares in. Boy, it got dark. It got dark. Okay. You go away. You drop in about like that. Up. Over. Yeah, we're sailing through a through a gale here. Yeah, 117 knot winds. We're at almost 30 knots ourselves. And this looks like what? Angry red in front and angry red in front. But everything else is happy. Hmm. 31 knots. And full sail. Nothing else is off. Nope, we're good there. Alright, so I think we can just continue. And go ahead and get some sleep. If I can find the house. There you are. Yeah other side of the island and trying to get back in a situation like this that would be rough so here's the lighting it's very green I guess because it's going through plant um, lanterns instead of linen lanterns and that's not a thing for us yet right I'm pretty sure linen well it's it's going to be a thing if it's not already may it may, may not be in the game yet but it also may be that we just haven't discovered it but I think that is part of the plan. But lighting wise, I can see enough. There may be use for one more in here. But for the most part, I can see there enough. Okay. Um, where am I? Upstairs. And grab some sleep. Bring the sun back. Grab a pumpkin pie. Head downstairs. No. We'll do the pumpkin pie later. Let's go out the hobbit hole. 
and see where we are and see if we've already passed them. I'm glad I didn't go to sleep without realizing I wasn't even going the right direction. We are right next to one. Stop! Okay. Let's look at that again. We're right there. He's on our side somewhere. There he is. Oh, wings. So he's there. He's corrupted. You know, all that we found so far in this next sector have been corrupted, right? No, no. There were a couple of them that weren't. Okay. So, otherwise, the other one is the opposite side. So you're over here. So you're way over here somewhere. Can we see you yet? Hmm. Are you down low? Maybe we're just not close enough. I would think it'd be fairly in view. There? Yeah, there's something over there on the, on the left edge that gets big until I look at it and then it goes away. I think that's him. But let's go deal with this guy first. And see what we can learn from it. See if we get something different. Or maybe we just need a lot more of what we've already found. That might be it. So, let's see. A little higher. Oh, slammed into a windmill. Story of my life. Alright, swing over and go. Yeah, we'll do something like that. Okay. Pulling away. What do I need to do? I guess just eat. Pumpkin pie. And, yep, it's waiting for us. Right there. Pop another one in. That's that's pretty good. Yeah. You eat, eat, drink, drink. Perfect. Off we go. Equip that guy. And it's in front of us, right? Which is over there. Alright, so what's the plan here? One node, two nodes. Any... Wow. Let's go up higher so I can see. There we go. Don't see any red boom booms. I do see the occasional bad guy burrowed in the ground. Let's drop in. There you are. Alright. Uh, somebody else made a noise. But I don't see any movement, so it must just be random noises. Alright. There. <laughs> Spam the buttons. Go! <laughs> yeah, that's, that's my tactic. I don't know how you guys do it. I just start hitting buttons like crazy. Okay. Oh, no, no. Noises. Noises. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, lots of noises. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. Drop. I'm a back up against something. Whoa. How many fell off of there? Let's go to the other side. Am I going up? I'm going up. Let's speed up a little. There we go. Swing around. Let's get over to this side. I didn't want them to fall off because I want what they, uh, what they have. But got a little overwhelmed there on the, that side. Are they still here? Or did I lose all of them? I hear you. Oh, there you are. Hey, guys. How you doing? Okay. You're stuck. Poor guy. Oh, not stuck anymore. Okay. Still got my coating. Thought one more popped in. There you are. So, I wonder if I could coat the... Oh, I didn't think about coating the bow. 
That might have made a difference. But let's give this guy a try. Now, he doesn't have a combo. Ow! But he's got a lot of hit points. Alright, so we're good there. We have bandages if we need them. We haven't actually hit a node yet. Yeah. And... Where am I aimed? There I am. Oh, he doesn't power up. Hmm. I... Yeah, I held it, but he didn't turn blue. Wonder if that doesn't work with this guy. Okay. So... Injured. Wait, wait. Let's say it again. Injured sample. The other ones were uninjured samples, so this is a third thing. Okay. Well, that must have something to do with the mystery. So let's pop you a few times. And over here. Okay, charging up. Boom. That did work. Okay. Got some more. And my tool still looks funny. Oh, hello. Found you. Oh, that didn't work. Timed it wrong. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Only two. What do I get from you? Got another six. So out of that, we got 34. So we're about halfway. Of course, that's only 68 out of 70 if we do that twice. Hmm. Oh, hold a little longer. And we've got... A wooden table. Oh, nice. Good. Now, anything here that would make me say that's where there would be a buried treasure? Hmm. What are you? Your stones. All right. So let's see what's in here. Another goat. No cure yet. Okay. Anything else? Up and slow. Let's survey this place. So if there was an area here, there really isn't, but I would I would say let's poke around in here and see what we've got. Got a stone. No, nope, that doesn't count. Okay, put it back together. Try another island. Alright, so anything else in here besides the goat? And how long have I been going? Too long already. Maybe I'll cut out a little bit so that I can get more into this episode, because I really would like to see what happens when we cure these guys so yep i'm gonna deliver the goat to our triage center and i'll meet you over there on our way to the next island which is where i think it's right there that must be him all right i'm just pulling into that other island look at the sparkles i'm not going to attack it at night that's to me that's crazy but yeah what a what an interesting effect the sparkles and the, the brown smog that's surrounding it. I'm going to go make the sun come back and coat both weapons again and dive into there. Okay, let's do this. That was, I think, the door kip that I just pulled. Oh, look at you. You guys are already awake and you're floating around. The... Oh, man, we lost half of them. I didn't even do anything. <laughs> We got boom booms in there. Yeah. All right, let's drop in right over here. Okay. That it? There are more of them on here. Yeah. Let's draw a bow and see what happens here. Boom. And that triggered that one and triggered that one. So chain reaction. Okay. We gotta make more arrows. Yeah. Okay. Drop the Oh, let's grab oops, wrong one. That one. There. Grab that guy and where did all of those guys go? You and you're over there. Okay. And let's just... Are you active yet? You're not. Now you are. OK. 
Okay. So we've got more samples of that. Any more of you guys before I start breaking these down? Another boom boom. So what happens if I just walk up and do that? Do I still have a timer? I still have a timer. Okay. So it doesn't blow up in my face. Good. So over here, we've got at least two animals on this one. Oh, boom booms. Yeah, I think I'm just going to get rid of you guys rather than... Oh, that was interesting. Well, now we know. Whoa. Oh, you destroyed the other thing. I'm cornered. I'm cornered. And got you. Still have coating on my... Yeah, the boom booms destroyed the node. Which brought those guys out. Ahead of, you know, prematurely when I wasn't ready for them. Alright, let's take this out. And let's switch over to this guy. In case that coating dies right in the middle. I want to get as much of this stuff as I can. Oh, I accidentally dodged. No, I didn't do that on purpose. Sorry. Man, got you. And I think that is all that we're going to gain out of this island. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. We're done there. We got... Oh, how much last time? 34. Plus our... 28. Not enough. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's see what's going on here. Uh, e. We've got a llama. That's our first llama. Okay. There's one more somewhere right over here. And bones. Sad, but the bones are helpful. And blueberries. Mm. Another animal over here. More bones. And just out of curiosity... Let's just poke around up in here and make sure there's nothing exciting. Nope, nothing this time. All right, let's go learn something. Put that away. I hear you. There you are. A trellis. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. So I'm going to line our pathways with it, make them look good. All right, so I will get this little guy to the triage center. Though, I'm curious why there is a dirt mound right here. Patch with soil. No, it's just a bare spot. Sometimes a bare spot is just a bare spot. Yep. Alright, Mr. Llama. We are... where? Where's the boat? There it is. Where, who stole this ship? Okay, so we're kind of going off in that direction. Oh, made it. Yeah, that gets a little iffy sometimes. Alright, over here to the Treehouse Center. And I think we may have to wait one more episode to cure these guys. We're getting there. We're learning more and more about it. But we need a lot more of these guys. So one more island's worth. And that island is quite a ways away from us. So what does this look like? We're right on the edge. So next time we'll take it off into the next sector and see what's right over here. I think that's the plan. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.